Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you find that your Google Chrome browser is taking too long to load. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and right to the point. So we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the Google Chrome web browser. And now you want to navigate to the menu icon in the top right corner and left click on it. And now you want to left click on more tools and now you want to left click on extensions. Now if you have any extensions listed in here they are obviously going to be slowing down your computer but to varying degrees. If you're unaware of any extensions or if you have no interest in them any longer you're more than welcome to remove them from your Google Chrome web browser. I've noticed that extensions can definitely slow down your browsing experience so that's something I would definitely recommend trying first. If that doesn't really suit your needs and doesn't really help we're going to jump into the main part of the video and that would be to open up the start menu and type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt and you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window select yes. Now you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS should not be any space in between the forward slash and the flush DNS. It should all be one word here, or it should appear as one word. And IP config is spelled I P C O N F I G. Then you want to hit enter. It should get back to you saying that it successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N E T S H space Winsock. So N E T S H space Winsock W I N S O C K space reset. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restore the computer in order to complete the reset. So I recommend you listen to that advice. You restore your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope it helped you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.